Hey guys, Corbin here. In the last video, I talked about setting up tool heights in Mach 4, and now the last step for an automatic tool changer or an ATC with an Avid CNC is the post-processor setup. So let's get into it. The last thing to do is to set up the post-processors to actually tell the machine to do a tool change for the most popular CAM programs, which are probably Vectric VCarve and Fusion 360. So let's look at Vetric VCarve. You can download this post processor from my website. It's just the Avid CNC one that I modified a little bit. The specific things I added, if I search for M6, M6 is a tool change command. And at the start, the header of the file, I added a couple lines. One where it tells which tool to be active and the height to be active. Two very important things. Then later, there's a tool change section, and I have the same things. It basically tells it which tool to use and which tool height to use. To install it, you can go into Vetric VCarve. If you're using 11.5, you can go Machine, Install Post Processor, and you can select that file that you downloaded. You can also select Machine, Let's see, post processor management. You should be able to see your active post processor and edit it. That's another way to do this, to add those lines that mine have. When you're actually going to go and generate G code, you want to make sure that you use that particular post processor. So on the tool paths, save visible tool paths to one file. My post processor is the one that I added. Now, if you go and load G-code, inside something that has more than one tool change, like let's load up this one here. It's important to know that the tool change command is there. So you can scroll down. At the start, you should see something like a T14M6, tool 14. M6 is the command to do it. G43, H14. So that's to use height 14. Uh, to be assigned an active height. So you want to see those two lines. If you see them there, then it's set up correctly. Fusion 360, it also has a post-processor management that's the same. Basically, you go, to, uh, you go to the Manufacturer tab, and you can go to your machine library. You can set up a machine, and you can add a post-processor for it. And you can select a post processor, just as you would do for Vetra VCar, very similar. And if we go ahead and look at that one, edit it. Here in this file, if I search for M6, there's a use M6 set to true option, which is on now. If I search for M6, basically I had some code in here to write the proper height in addition to the tool. So in Fusion 360, when you actually go to post-process something, you have to make sure you check use M6, so it will generate the tool change. I also like to have G28 safe retracts checked. I think it's just better. The thing to note is that Fusion 360 requires a subscription for it to actually do multiple tools in one file. Otherwise, it's going to do one tool per file, and it's not as useful for an ATC.